Hi, I'm Gladstone Small. You're washing two bricks at the ashes. It's all over. Get some sleep. Two bricks at the ashes. Two bricks live from SCG Overflow Room. Put the kids to bed. 24 years, and it's been worth the wait. Why have you got Mitchell Johnson on your chest? Is that just... Why have I got Mitchell? Because he's a, he's a legend, that's why. That's why it's mad. We've talked enough nonsense. England won this easily, this test, this series. Give me the quickest possible wrap up of England in this series that you can. Uh, well, England, the, the, it's not been so much about the victory itself, it's more been about the manner of victory. And uh, as well, not so much for us, this is our first you know, time watching, well, my first time watching the Ashes in Australia. But for all those fans and journalists and, and you know, people who have watched England over the last 24 years, just get absolutely pumped. I think today is probably a pretty good day. And for the players who, and Andy Flower and the backroom staff who have spent a lot of time dedicated to improvement, and, and they have. They have improved this team beyond recognition. Uh, Malcolm Conn from the Australian newspaper and uh, we're still looking for the adjectives. We don't know whether it's disastrous, diabolical, disappointing, dreadful, disgraceful. Uh, the one thing we can say is that uh, England choked Australia. Uh, they bought a lot of sucker balls to sucker batsmen and kept nick nicking them. And uh, they obviously played on different pitches because they could get wickets and we couldn't. So it's been a, a terrible situation. The only thing we can take out of it is that four years ago England here lost, lost here 5-0 and uh, have won the Ashes twice since. So uh, look out, here we come. Australia is much easier to wrap up. They're rubbish. Uh, they're playing rubbish. Their organisation is rubbish. Their selecting is rubbish. Their captains are rubbish. Uh, they've lost the plot. They will come back, but I don't know how long it will take. A lot of good tech players around. Let's hope I see some of them in the next uh, little while, but for now, rubbish. Uh, big Marks, Observer, and Guardian. My day got up, went to ground, England won ashes. Actually went out around the ground, watched them win Ashes and celebrate. Gone home. Can't quite believe it really. That's it. <laughs>
Uh, probably not. Uh, we'd just like to thank you all. Uh, we, we think you're all sick people for watching this, but we thank you for watching. We thank everyone who's helped. I'm not going to name them all because we forget important people and look like idiots. Uh, but we'd like to thank everyone who helped behind the scenes, everyone who helped in front of the scene, uh, everyone who retweeted us, everyone who told their friend, and anyone who watched, really, because uh, without that, we'd be, we'd be just sitting here on our own, making out. And as my wife, we'd like to thank you, too. Andrew Miller, Crick Info. It's 3-1 to England. They have won three times by innings in Australia. They have absolutely wiped them out. Uh, 2005 revisited with knobs on because it hadn't all relied on Flintoff. It's been a full team performance all the way around. Australia are actually rubbish. We didn't think they were that rubbish coming into the series, but yep, genuinely they are. Um, they've got a lot of rebuilding to do. England can go on and become number one by winning the World Cup and beating India in the summer. What? My Malali of the series is Shane Watson, umpteen scores over 30, no score over 100. Australia need hundreds from their openers if they're going to score the runs to put England under pressure. Watson's too busy running people out, being irritating and generally having a fat ass. Shane Watson, you're My Malali. Uh, Mario Malali starts at the head. He started at the arse, apparently. I started at the head. Uh, the National Selection Committee. From the very first day of this series, when they announced their 17-man squad, they uh, basically showed that they had no idea what they were doing. And then they made mistake after mistake after mistake. And as bad as the players are, at least we know that they, you know, not dealing with the, the most talented bunch ever, whereas the selection people couldn't even work out who roughly was their best team. So, Hilditch, Chapel, Boone, Cox, and Merv Hughes were being involved in it beforehand. You're all a giant Malali. <laughs> How do you think we feel? We just lost the Ashes again. Because we've been to watch England 27 times abroad, various countries. And would you believe in all that time we've only seen a win three times, and one of those was in Adelaide. This could be number four. That was absolutely awesome. Three-one. What we came over for, we've done it. Taking the urn home. Come on. up so we can leave the overflow room before they arrest us. Okay, tweet of the day comes from Dom Jolly, famous British comedian, relatively, <laughs> who says, Hooray for the ashes, I've just harangued two Australian tourists from my sunbed. Thanks very much for watching, take care, and maybe we'll see you in the future. Whatever you want, darling. <laughs>